Welcome to the final installment of this series where I have planned, built, and then launched an entire website in front of you using Bolt. Now, last night, for, some, for whatever reason, I decided to launch another one of these websites because I'm just completely obsessed with this now. And I launched getmarriedinitaly.co. Really, really happy with the result here. Let's just have a little look at the website. You can see um, Italian wedding regions. And the reason I did this is because if you actually check the keywords, get married in Lake Como has 10,000 searches in the United States every month, okay? So if we can get a little piece of that, what the hell is it, Lake <laughs> If we can get a little piece of that, then we can, start to sell leads to, you know, florists, for example, in Lake Como, et cetera, et cetera. Now you can see this actually works. This is actually a directory for getting married in Italy. Now, I, I pretty much made this in the exact same way that I made findatradespersonisland.com. Same concept, but I, I would argue that you can see that I'm getting better at this now. This looks uh, a lot worse than this does. I think most people would agree. This also has a search thing, so we want to do a rooftop venue in Puglia. Let's do Milan, actually, because it's more likely to actually have a rooftop venue. And you can just see how super, super quick this stuff is, right? Gran Milan, Terrezza Tredici, Terrazza, literally means rooftop. So this would actually be a rooftop wedding venue in Milan, okay? This took me about five hours, and we can actually see if we go on Google and we do a site search, you can see that it's already, and I released this literally at 7 a.m. this morning, don't ask, okay? I was up till 7 a.m. Uh, so less than 12 hours ago, and we're already on Google for these terms. Now, people keep saying to me, oh, but you're not ranking, you're not ranking, these are just indexed. Yeah, you're right. Let's have a little look as instead of find a tradesperson island, okay? Now, one thing I will say is, obviously I made a video about this, so a lot of people were searching for find a tradesperson island, but we still, yesterday alone, have or had 820 impressions. Now, again, people will say they are not from real people, etc., etc. Look at the keywords. Roof repair in Longford Island, that's a real keyword. Chimney sweep Dublin, that's a real keyword. Solar panel Limerick, they, these are all real keywords. And then if you go on countries and sort by impressions, you'll see that 383 impressions are from Ireland. So unless people are suggesting that 50% of my audience is in Ireland, which it's not, I'll tell you right now, it's probably about 1%, these are real impressions from real people, okay? To already have 255 keywords in Search Console on a website that was launched on Sunday night is insane, okay? It's probably the most progress I've ever made in terms of SEO in such a short amount of time. Now, if you're watching up to this point, guys, please, I really, really want to share these case studies with people, with everyone. I have to be careful because every time I show the case study, it skews the case study because everybody's clicking the link. Do not go on Google to find this website, please, please. Just go on the website directly. I will leave a link in the description of this video to getmarriedinitaly.co. If you want to see the website, please just click the link. Don't search for the website on Google because it's, it's just going to mess everything up and I just want to be able to properly have a case study. Now, one thing I'll say is a few pages are broken. I don't really care about this kind of stuff right now. I'm just building stuff. And then if it gets traffic, that's when we start to monetize. That's when we add ads. That's when we make this uh, into a, an actual thing that will send emails to us. And then I could, for example, personally call wedding planners, because I speak Italian, and say, look, I have a lead for you. I want 5%, 10%, whatever, of whatever they spend with you. Otherwise, I'll take it to your competitor, for example. That's a pretty brutal way of doing things, but uh, we could do that, for example. Um, but, you know, it's kind of, you, you build it first and then you monetize it. You, you don't really need to monetize it at the beginning because it's not gonna get enough traffic uh, for the first month, let's say, <laughs> I, I, probably. Although to be honest with you, I'm kind of doubting that now and I'm kind of thinking that we might get a bit of traffic in the first month. Let's go to bolt.new here and we're gonna go back to our board game um, website. Okay, so we had just got to a point where I was very happy with the result here. Um, we had you know, a few different index pages, et cetera, et cetera. 
This isn't a particularly large website compared to the, some of the other websites that I've built. For context, find a tradesperson Ireland has 1,800 pages. Getmarriedinitaly.co has 1,000 pages, which you can see on the sitemap, by the way, which it does have a sitemap. So yeah, really, really cool. Perfect. So we have the website in a pretty good position. However, there are a few problems. If I click something like card games, I need to know if this is actually going to work. So what this should do is it should load. Okay, it does work. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Card game, board games. Okay, nice. Uh, there's no navigation whatsoever on that page, but that's okay. We, we can fix that. Not all the pages have been made. So I'm going to say implement all pages, page indexes, uh, types of categories. Ensure everything is dynamically generated. So nothing 404s. Implement breadcrumbs. Implement SSR and ISR. Uh, implement sitemap properly and finally also implement header and footer on all pages and add all new category types to the home page. So I, I just want to make sure that everything's completely working. Now what you want to do while it's doing this is you want to make sure that it's not deleting any old code okay or it's not putting any placeholder code because that will really, really an annoy you and annoy me as well. But it looks like it's not doing that, so that's good. Okay, so we've added some breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs are just so that the user knows where they are on the website so they can click, you know, forwards and backwards. Uh, sitemap has now been set up. Categories index. Yeah, so discover the best category board games. Perfect, that's exactly what we wanted. This is the games index, which was on the top, which I just clicked and it 404'd, which is why I had to do that. And then components gamecard.tsx, that's the individual um, game things. Then we've got categories here, beautiful. Complexity levels, player counts, player times, okay. So that should be about ready to launch now. I would recommend running a prompt like this at the end of every Bolt instance, implement all pages, page indexes, types of categories, Ensure everything is dynamically generated, so nothing 404s. Implement breadcrumbs, SSR and ISR, which we talked about last time. Uh, implement sitemap properly and blah, 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 blah. Okay, so there is an error here, but I'm not sure if it's a, if it's a warning or if it's a real error. It does look like it's a... No, it's just a warning. That's fine then. So we have the categories here at the bottom. If we click any of these, it should give us sports board games, for example. The way this works is it is now searching on Walmart uh, for sports games, okay? Uh, so yeah, baseball trivia, there we go. That's kind of a, yeah, these are all sporty, kind of. So we'll press lists here. Let's just see what's on lists. This, that's going to 404, yeah, perfect. Uh, and then we'll click games here. There's also a sign in button, which will do absolutely nothing. And categories here. Okay, this is what we like, good. Okay, um, add the index pages for complexities and other things to the home page and the um, header. Oh, they're here. Oh, right, okay, you can click them here. Uh, that's cool, actually. Remove sign in because it's doing nothing and make the lists page not 404. This is the last thing we're gonna do and then we're gonna generate the website. I just wanted to make something that's actually worth posting and not just some bullshit, basically. Because I mean, I could easily just made this video where the website is trash, but like, I, I do want it to be half decent. So, I'm probably just going to launch this. Uh, I'll have to buy another domain. <laughs> Jesus, the amount that we've spent on domains recently is crazy. Just a little tip for you guys: Vercel is um, slightly better than Netlify. The reason being is one of these websites; it can take a very long time to build. If it takes more than 15 minutes to build, like Get Married in Italy did, it won't work if um, you use uh, Netlify because Netlify after 15 minutes will time out. So it's much better to use Vercel. So once we've got this at a point where it's building, we will then put it on GitHub and then we'll import that into Vercel. That's the basic idea. Uh, rate my board, no. Board Game Rater, no, two hours in a row, I hate that. Boardgamereviews.com, I'll be taken, yeah. Uh, Bestboardgames4.com, <laughs> yeah, okay, .com, literally, we could buy that, okay. Uh, we'll buy that in a second.
Um, and let's see here. Okay, perfect. So now we have browse by play account, browse by playing time, browse by complexity. Now I have no idea how this will actually work. Like, how does this? Uh, why did that 404? Bruh. Yeah, okay. Uh, the pages for complexities, the the index page for um, types of complexity and player counts doesn't actually exist in 404. Should be dynamically generated URLs, nothing should 404. So this is something that I find quite a lot. Like it's very good at making the the index page, but it's not very good at you know ensuring that the page actually exists. So we'll just double. We'll, we'll make sure this works. So now it's yeah, it, it should work now. It's creating that page, and then the count page, perfect. So whether this actually will give uh, games for eight and more people, that's another matter, right? There's two things here. There's being able to create the page, and there's being able to actually find something on the API or through tags that will actually, oh God, the rest of the file remains the same. I hate that. Uh, that will actually populate the page properly. I just need to um, have a quick shouting match with this AI. Just give me a minute. Uh, you've added placeholder code to all of these pages you move. Replace it, please. This is the worst thing about Bolt, okay? It's the reason it's not the best AI tool in the world is that it adds placeholder code. What do I mean by placeholder code? It will always write slash slash rest of your code remains the same and then it will save the file and then you won't know until you're trying to fucking launch this thing for three hours which happened to me last night as you can probably tell by how annoyed I am. You won't know until you know that's happened so very very frustrating when that happens. Very very frustrating. To be honest with you, even if it's not fully perfect now, I think I'll just launch it anyway, because otherwise me and the producer will be here until midnight, which I don't want. Okay, revalidate every hour. Perfect. That's, um, this is what I wanted. Oh, handle search logic. Yeah, we'll just ignore that. Won't touch that. That basically means that there's no search logic on the website. But again, these are just small things that I'm not massively bothered about right now. I just want to get this launched. Okay, so this should be done. Perfect. We'll just quickly check if this actually works. Uh, I'm still going to launch it if it doesn't, but let's just see. Oh, it does work. Two-player board games. Connect 4 is a two-player board game as far as I know, right? Pretty sure it is. Does this work, the view details button? No, game not found. Why? Okay, that's fine. Let's try something here. So I'm just going to quit out. Right. We're now at the point where the website is in a launchable position. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press deploy. This will not work, okay? This will 100% have TypeScript errors. I would bet my life on this having TypeScript errors. Every single time I've done this, it's had TypeScript errors. So you see here it says linting and checking validity of types. It will not work, I promise you. There we go, perfect. So what we have to do is we have to, there are two ways to do this. You can either download the project now and fix this in cursor, However, last night I learned that you can actually do this here as well. So I'm going to say, please only fix this error. Don't fix or change anything else. Don't remove any code. Don't add any placeholder code. Only fix this error. Okay, so what this is going to do is it's going to fix just the TypeScript error. If you don't know what TypeScript error is, it's basically, um, I mean, I'm not... A, code, I'm not a programmer, but from what I understand is um, every part of code has a type and you can't have the same named variable with two different types. So like a string, an array, and an object, for example. So that's the difference between TypeScript and JavaScript, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep running npm run build every time it's fixed the TypeScript error. And now it's gonna give me another TypeScript error and we're gonna fix that one. See, exactly the same thing. So we'll say the same thing again. It's a different error, which means that the last error has been fixed, which is perfect. That's exactly what we want. Every time you want to triple click this prompt and make sure that you've got it ready because there are going to be five or six of these TypeScript errors, okay? So we're going to have to very quick, very slowly go through each one and say, fix this, don't change anything else, okay? And then we're going to manually run npm run build ourselves and we're going to get another TypeScript error. Three, two, one, TypeScript error. 
There we go. And we just want to make sure it's a different one. Yeah, it is a different one. So that means the last error has been fixed. There are normally about six of these to seven. Uh, it's pretty normal. It's just um, the... I don't, I don't really know why it does this. I don't know why it can't code TypeScript properly. Like it's obsessed with coding in TypeScript and then it can't even code TypeScript properly. So um, probably there's gonna be another error as well, which is the fact that there are apostrophes in um, the TypeScript. I'm gonna show you another fix for that as well if that error does come up. So linting and checking validity of types. We're gonna have an, the same error again, I promise you. TypeScript error, there we go. It's funny because it's always the same errors as well. It's all, it always makes exactly the same mistakes. So if they could just fix that and fix the fact that it somehow uh, sometimes puts placeholder code. Honestly, I don't, I, th this thing would be insane. Um, I mean, it already is insane, of course. I've launched two bloody websites in, in 48 hours. So. so we'll do npm run build. We'll get ready with our prompt again. Okay, I think we're pretty much there. I think this should work now. Uh, there might be a few more TypeScript errors, but we'll see. There we go, perfect. Creating a build. So now it's creating an optimized production build, and then it should say creating static pages. I don't think there'll be too many static pages this time, just because there aren't that many categories. Oh, one's JSON, one's .ts. So if we times this uh, by, yeah, so now it's collecting page data, perfect. So as long as this works, okay, it looks like it's working. We can now launch this website, okay? So I'm gonna show you exactly how to launch it. I'm gonna cancel that, and I'm gonna press open in Stack Blitz here. Now we'll open it in Stack Blitz because we bought the website on Vercel, but to be honest with you, this website was small enough to actually launch on uh, Netlify, so I should have done that, but it's fine. Okay, beautiful. So now what we do is we go back here, and we import this environment variables. I wish you could just copy and paste all of the, oh, you can. Wow, why didn't you tell me that before? Deploy. Okay, so we have the website here. Wow, we've seen that before. So what's interesting is, if I'm not mistaken, the content should be here somewhere. It shouldn't have to do all that again, because it does have ISR, you can see it here. It's weird that it has to generate them again. It shouldn't have to do that. I'm not sure what's going on with that, but you know, it's whatever. I'm pretty confident that this is done now, so we'll just kind of, we'll leave Bolt, and then if, if this doesn't work now, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually cry. Okay, amazing. We now have our website. So now let's just press Add a domain here. Um, I have no idea how to do this. There we go. Bestboardgames4.com. Save. Uh, sure. Okay, so now if we just go to www.bestboardgames4.com. There it is. We are done. We have launched our website. So all of these pages here can become indexed on Google. Uh, I'm not going to go through that process in this video. I, I, I think we're done. It's been an hour of filming just to get to this point but you can just see how quick this website is. Look at it, bang, bang, bang. Look at that. Let's see if the sitemap exists. There we go, beautiful. Look at that, bang, bang, bang. So yeah, we, we're now finished. Um, uh, it's actually not that complicated to get this onto Google. You just need to um, add something to the head uh, to verify Search Console and then you're good to go. But yeah, we're gonna leave the video there, guys. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you're watching all the way to the end, then you're probably mad, but thanks uh, for watching, and you're an absolute legend. And I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out. Watch this video if you want to know about the new computer use and how you can use it for your business.